Good morning, everyone. I have something I want to share with you that um, God downloaded for me yesterday evening when I was doing things around the house about isolation. And as I was, um, I think I was cooking some squash <laughs> yesterday, and I kept running back to my little station I have set up where my paper is to write things down because it, you know, it was just flowing and I was going to do it last night. And then I said, no, I'm going to come on first thing in the morning because I have videos that I need to record. And so I'll kind of already be in that flow after sharing this with you all. And so as you come on this morning, be sure that you say, hello, we're talking about five benefits of isolation five benefits of isolation first of all I pray that everyone is safe um, taking precautionary measures in this time that we're in and I encourage you if you go back I've been doing a hashtag find the blessing I choose to find the blessing hey Ashley how are you dear good morning everybody hope you guys are doing well as you're getting ready to do whatever it is you're gonna do for today, but I just want to share these five um, benefits of isolation that I received. Um, so I got this great download on yesterday as I was sharing um, while I was in the kitchen cooking and I just began writing things down and it was the first thing on my mind um, this morning to get up and be able to share with you. If you guys could do me a favor, um, if you're on, <clears throat> be sure to, good morning, Ashley. Be sure to share the broadcast out with someone else on your timeline. I know it's going to be beneficial to so many people during this time because many of us are finding ourselves in quarantine situations or isolation. And I just want to talk to you about five benefits uh, of isolation. I think that um, your perspective during any season is super important. So how you're viewing um, what's transpiring is going to determine how you push through it and then how you come out on the other side. So the first thing that, because I'm just going to get right into it uh, this morning, the first benefit or the first thing that isolation does for you is it allows you to be with yourself. And if somebody could put these things in the comments for the viewers that will come back on, um, just some bullet points of, you know, what they can really think about, process, and study. Because I, I know that there are, are unfortunate things happening that are beyond our control, but I choose to find the blessing. And as God was like downloading these things about isolation, it took me back to many times in my own personal journey as an entrepreneur as a, a wife, a mom, a business owner, just my journey overall, and the number of times that I actually had to go voluntary isolation. And so I'm, what I'm sharing with you as God be, began bringing things back to rem my remembrance are the benefits that I received during those times of isolation. Um, hold on one second, guys. Jay, do you have anything connected back there? So anyway, the first thing is it allows you to be with yourself. It allows you to be with yourself. If you guys think about it, many of you have, um, we've been with others all the time. We've been with others' thoughts, others' ideas, their mentalities, their mindsets, and their fears. And isolation allows you to be with yourself. And so when we're moving and progressing along with, in life, we begin to form these routines of what's normal for us. And we just kind of get in a flow. Even if we know that there is something we possibly need to be doing differently, or we know that we kind of sort of need to shift because we are so inundated. Good morning, Kim. How are you, dear? With others all the time. We are taking on the thoughts of others, the ideas of others. So many of your dreams, your visions, the things that you really desire to do, they kind of get pushed to the back burner because everybody else, we're with everyone else's stuff 
all the time. So isolation allows you to be with yourself. Good morning, Sharonda. How are you, beautiful? Isolation allows you to be with yourself. Many of you haven't been with yourself in a long time. I'm going to say that again. Many of you have not spent time with yourself in a long time. So that means that everything that you're doing in your life, in your business, has been inundated with all of the time that you're spending with others. Remember I said we're taking on others' mentalities, their thoughts, their ideas, their mindset. And so the, the truth of who we are gets covered up in all of that. So isolation, number one, allows you to be with yourself. Now, when I was thinking about this, I, was, I thought about relationships. And you guys know how um, if a relationship doesn't go well, then sometimes for most people, unfortunately, their thought is, I'm going to go find me another relationship. Good morning, Ms. Rhonda. How are you? You know, when a relationship is ending or for me, I was married for 14 years and I'm divorced about two years ago. And, you know, the thought most people think, oh, well, you'll find someone else or I'm just going to go get me another relationship or another boyfriend, another girlfriend or whatever. But most people never spend time with themselves. And so what they end up doing instead of um, actually getting this great new relationship or situation or thing, right, they end up getting a different person but the same situation because they hadn't taken time out with themselves and so the goal for them became let me find someone else instead of let me find myself so the first benefit of isolation is it allows you to be with yourself and many of you need this time to be with yourself to figure out who you've actually evolved into who you've become. Um, this person that was doing this thing five years ago is now a new person but still doing the same thing because they haven't had the time to be with themselves. So the number one thing that isolation does for you is it allows you to be with yourself. If you don't take the time to spend with yourself, you will have repeated cycles of everything. Your business results, your relationships, your, your relationship with your children, your parents, they will continue to be the same if you don't spend time with yourself. So the number one thing that isolation does is it allows you time to be with yourself. Time to say, is this what I really even want in my life, in my business? You know, what I've been doing, what's been transpiring, what's been happening, what I've been attracting. Is this what I really want? Or have I been spending so much of my time with others that I've taken on other people's ideas, other people's thoughts, other people's mentalities, other people's mindsets, other people's fears? So the number one thing isolation allows you to do is spend time with yourself. It's important. Number two, the number two thing, somebody put this in the comments. Make sure you guys share this out this morning. Everybody is in some type of isolation, quarantine, social distancing, something, right? Number two thing that isolation does is allows you to shift the atmosphere of familiarity. Lord have mercy. It allows you to shift the atmosphere of familiarity. Many of you have made your job your source. I'm going to say that one more time. Many of you have made your job your source. Many of you have made what you do your source, right? You've become familiar with the activity of what you do on a daily basis, so much so that even in this time of awakening and awareness, you're still trying to do the same thing. I'm going to go a little deeper into that, but the number two thing that isolates of isolation does for you, it allows you to shift the atmosphere of familiarity. I was sharing with you guys that sometimes we get in this routine and we just do the same thing all the time, right? Even if we're having um, inspirational moments in our heart or nudges or um, downloads to do something different, 
you know, we're just so familiar with the way that we've been doing things. We kind of just keep doing that thing, thinking in our mind that something is just going to be different. But you guys know that doing the same thing, expecting different results is insanity. And that's Albert Einstein's quote, but it's one that I love. I'm um, doing the same thing and expecting different results is insanity. It's insanity. So the number two thing that isolation does is it allows you to shift the atmosphere of familiarity. Thank you for scribing that, Miss, Miss Rhonda. So what is it that you've become so familiar with that you, you just keep doing the same thing all the time, even though you've gotten these nudges and your nudges probably came to you five years ago? They didn't just happen today. One of the beautiful things that I see transpiring in the entrepreneurial space is I see people um, promoting their TLC, you know, so they've had it forever, but it's kind of been sitting on the back burner. So they're promoting their TLC as an opportunity for, you know, people to work from home. I don't work for TLC. I'm not promoting it. I'm just showing you all what I've been noticing. I've been noticing that people have had um, side uh, careers or jobs that they're now pulling out of the hat, right? But guys, what if we made uh, those nudges and those things, hey, Alice, how are you, dear, that we've been having in our heart? What if we made it a lifestyle and not a lifesaver? I'm gonna say that one more time. What if we made those things in our heart, our goals, our dreams, our visions, our lifestyle and not our lifesaver, not like a life jacket that we pull out to um, preserve us during uncomfortable times, but we believe in that thing so much that it's not a life jacket, it's a lifestyle. It's something that we're doing all the time. That's This is where, um, you know how people say, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready? And see, we're pulling things out of the hat, which I think is beautiful, You you should. This is an opportune time for you to create, be innovative, um, and pull things out of the hat. But just what if those nudges that you've been getting about what it is that you desire to do and how you wanted your life to be different, what if you made the pursuit of that a lifestyle instead of expecting it to be a lifesaver or like a life jacket in the time of trouble? The number two thing that isolation does is it allows you to shift the atmosphere of familiarity. Remember I shared that many people had gotten so familiar with their, their jobs. They had gotten so familiar with whatever it is that they did. Good morning, Lynn. How are you, dear? Thank you for joining. They've gotten so familiar with that old routine. They'd even gotten familiar with what everyone else was doing. When, when God was just dropping these downloads for me on yesterday evening and I was deciding to share, I wrote it down. I began remembering how when I first opened my brick and mortar service-based business, I did a lot of things that weren't the normalcy for a business of, my, of the kind that I was opening. <clears throat> so I had a policy and procedure manual. We had um, a front desk training. So they went through 40 hours of training we did product knowledge training. We did a lot of things that weren't necessarily the normalcy, but I am so glad that while everyone else was going left, I was going right. And so many people have gotten so familiar, right? So familiar, they've been in the space of familiarity so long doing what everybody else is doing. This isolation is important. This time of isolation is important because the number two thing it, it does, it allows you to shift the atmosphere of familiarity. So some of you have been familiar in your routine of going to work with the kids later. This is no shade, right? Because we get in our flow and we put things off that we really, really value and we really, really um, desire and want to do. It's one of the reasons why when I work with my clients, and I don't think I did an introduction. I'm going to take a station break just for a moment, do an introduction. You guys, please share the broadcast out. Someone else needs this message this morning. They're frustrated about the isolation, the quarantine, the social distancing distancing that we're having to do. Good morning, Lydia. How are you? I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I am the growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women 
service-based business owners just like yourself, helping them to brand, build, and profit in their business, but not only in their business, in their life. I teach from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset. So this is a time, guys, where all of the videos that you've watched of me before talking about abundant thinking, good morning, Whit Whitley, how are you, dear? This is the time to put those things into practice because if not, scarcity thinking will pop up. You'll start doing things out of desperation and not out of wisdom. You'll begin to do things out of desperation and not out of wisdom. So I teach um, abundance mindset. 80% of the ses success of what you're doing is based on your thinking. And if you think from a space of lack, you will operate from a space of lack. And what you're doing that looks like you're being productive will really only be busy work. You guys get that? This is why I teach abundance mindset all the time because it keeps us in a space of abundance. A space of abundance for the season that we're in right now is to find the blessing. Choose to find the blessing. Many people are focused now on the problem and not the solution. Guys, I want you guys to shift so bad during this season. I don't want you to take this imperfect, um, perfect opportunity for isolation. I don't want you to take it for granted. I don't want you to focus so much on the problem that you're not implementing a new solution. So I teach abundance mindset. I teach personal growth. Guys, your business is only going to grow to the measure that you grow personally. It's super, super important. And times like this that we're seeing now, it really kind of brings stuff to the surface. It brings to the surface, one, what's really important, to what we have let go by the wayside, what we have stayed in familiarity with so long that we just kept doing the same thing in our minds, sort of kind of thinking something would change. But what time actually does for you, the benefits to take advantage of the benefit of time is not just time itself, it's what you do with the time. So many people say, oh, things will change in time, <clears throat> and they will. We're going to be good. But how good you are, what level you are when it ends, it de is dependent upon what you do with the time. Time is not going to stop. The clock is going to keep going. Things are going to subside, right? It's go We're going to come out good. <clears throat> but how good you come out is going to be determined by, determined by what you do with the time. And then the third perspective that I teach from, of course, is business building strategies. I've been an entrepreneur for 28 years now. I owned a brick and mortar service-based business for about 10 years. I hired, um, not contracted out, I hired about 12 staff members when we were um, full. And I share my business experience with my clients and with you all, helping you all to grow because this is a progressive thing. And I you know, I'm just going to say I'm excited about this time and it, not about the negative things that are happening, but I'm excited about the possibility. And it's important that you look at from a space of positivity, right? Where you're focusing not as much on the problem because it's understood that you're going to take safety measures, right? It's understood that you're going to do the social distancing. It's understood that you are going to do those things. But while everything is transpiring, what are you going to do with your isolation? The number three thing, so we did two, right? <clears throat> the number three thing that isolation does, it allows you to hear from God. I'm going to say that one more time. Isolation allows you time even though you had time before, but isolation allows you time to hear from God. Good morning, Tanya. How are you, dear? So I was watching, you know, I was on social media um, yesterday where I, when I saw a young lady share that she had been to church all these years. She goes like on a regular basis. She does not miss a beat. But she gave, she testified or whatever you want to call it, that she had not been reading her word. She didn't even really fully, under all those years of going to church, 
she didn't fully understand what scripture meant or what the word meant. Um, to me, the first thing I thought was relationship because so many times we've been doing religion, Lord have mercy, but we haven't been doing relationship. And so when times, when we face times like this, the faith and the relationship that we've had with God is what sustains us during this time. And so isolation allows you time to hear from God. I was thinking about the story of um, Joseph and the famine and how he um, interpreted the dream, right? And when he interpreted the dream, you guys got to hear me on this because it doesn't say that God gave Joseph specific instructions. I, I didn't read that. It didn't, I didn't hear that God said, now go do this or go do that or go do this. Joseph was able to interpret the dream because of his relationship with God, because of how the spirit of God was operating in his life. But what Joseph used during that season was wisdom. It was wisdom that carried Joseph during that time. And two things that stood out for me that Joseph did during that time, he invested when everybody else was doing their normalcy, they were operating in familiarity, they were just going on with life as it was, taking things as it comes. Joseph invested during that time while everybody else was clubbing and partying and just, you know, doing their regular life. Joseph was investing. The second thing that stood out for me that Joseph was doing was Joseph was strategizing. Lord have mercy, y'all don't hear me. Joseph was strategizing. So many of you are looking, well, hopefully not, but somebody is going to come on who is waiting on things to be done for them. Now we are going to all be able to benefit. Well, some of us, depending on, you know, income brackets and different things of that nature, there are going to be things that are going to help us during these times. But when I read the word, and this is, this is where it comes back to the number three thing, allowing you to spend time with God. It says God gives you the power to get well. Lord have mercy. And when you understand that you are a peculiar people, that you are a, a royal priesthood, that God gives you the power to get wealth, you are not solely dependent on what can be done for you because you understand that there's a power on the inside of you that gives you to get wealth. I did a video on power um, a while back on, on my business page, but I felt led to come on my a personal page on this morning. But the two things I noticed that Joseph did was he invested and he strategized. When everybody else was operating in familiarity and doing their regular stuff or operating in fear, Joseph was operating in wisdom. So now this is, um, this can be controversial where people feel like people are hoarding and, and things of that nature. And, but listen, God says if we don't take care of our own household, we're worse than an infidel. And if people are using wisdom when they go to the store to buy things, thinking that they may be in the house for two weeks, they buy enough supplies for two weeks, right? Now, I think some people are going to the extreme, but some of it is wisdom. I'm reminded of the, the virgins with, with the oil. I don't know how to quote the whole scripture. I can't remember the whole scripture, but God is bringing it to my remembrance as I'm sharing. Just simply weren't prepared. Lord, this is not a time to operate in fear, but it is a time to operate in wisdom. And isolation allows you time to hear from God. When I first brought my consulting business online, so I opened my consulting business in 2012, but I was I still owned a brick and mortar uh, service-based business at that time. And it was kind of a part-time thing for me. So it wasn't something that I was taking like super serious. I was taking what I was doing with my clients very serious, but not as it being a means of like supporting uh, my family. So when I transitioned and brought my business online and I now consult full time um, in my business with, with women just like you, helping them strategize, especially during a season like this, helping them recession proof uh, their business. Because as a service-based business owner, I made it through the recession, right? It's because I invested and I strategized 
during that season, but that's for a whole nother broadcast. But when I brought my business online, one of the things that I do is I take surveys from my clients about their experience with me. And one of the questions that I asked one of my groups, I said, why is it that out of all the classes that you could have taken, because there are so many amazing experts, trainers, business coaches, all of that. Um, why did you choose me? And the number one response that I got that was um, similar or the same was because I was a kingdom entrepreneur. Now, I got to be honest with you guys. I was a little upset. I was like, that's why? Like, it's not because of my amazing strategies and all that other stuff. But I get it, guys, because strategies are strategies. But when somebody is hearing from God, they are getting insight that keeps you ahead of the curve. I'm just, it just is what it is. They are getting insight that keeps you ahead of the curve. And so this isolation is necessary so that you can hear from God, so that you can be ahead of the curve. Now, remember before I talked about how sometimes we use things as a life jacket instead of a lifestyle. But if you've been using it as a lifestyle, then this time of isolation and having to spend time with God is not abnormal right? you just kind of like in your flow anyway. But I believe that God gives us forward insight because he doesn't want us to perish. He does not want us to perish. And many of you have something unique about you as well, your gifts, your talents that is going to stand to the forefront in this particular season. Number four, the number four thing that isolation does for you, it allows you to take inventory. This one's going to be good. It might step on one or two of your toes, right? But isolation allows you to take inventory. If you are an entrepreneur or a business owner, you've probably been taking inventory. You've probably been looking around, seeing how many supplies you have. Do you need to go spend money on that? You've probably been taking inventory. But isolation, quarantine, social distancing, all of this, allows you to take inventory. Now, here's another way you can look at inventory. And I think it's super important in this season, right? I want you to take a moment to take inventory and say, what do I have in my hand? What do I have in my hand? I shared that many people who bought the TLC years ago, you know, to stop using it are now using what's in their hand. I've seen people say that they were insurance agents and th that I never, ever knew. I never knew that those things were things that they had available. I think it's amazing because isolation causes you to take inventory and you begin to process what is actually in your hand. So when I talked about number two, I talked about how isolation allows you to shift the atmosphere of familiarity. So, so many people have been operating in familiarity that those things that they're pulling out of the hat now were on the back burner. Because I believe shifting, hey Nancy, good morning darling. I believe that shifting, evolution, growth, it is a lifestyle, right? It's not a life jacket. It's, it's not a lifesaver. It's a lifestyle. And when you can get into the momentum and the flow that you should be intentionally growing, you should be intentionally putting your time, money, money, energy, resources into innovative things, especially as an entrepreneur, those things that you have will be a lifestyle because this is what, I mean, this is the realistic part that happens because there is seed time and harvest. So you got to put the seed out there, bring awareness to the thing, and then time has to do its thing. But if you've made it a lifestyle, if you've made it something, if that goal, that dream, that vision, if this has been something that you've been um, chipping at and you've been working on uh, over time, over and over and over again, then the harvest will come when you need it, right? It's not like, oh God, let me hurry up and do this. Although guys, this is a season. If you have a goal, a desire, a dream, a vision, something, this is a time to innovate and isolation is going to allow my prayer, my desire, my heart is that you all don't take this time for granted, 
that you don't go on with business as usual because it's not going to be business as usual when this is over. Do you guys hear me? It is not going, and this is not, this is for you to operate in wisdom. Remember, we're not operating in fear. We're operating in wisdom. You have to know that something is going to shift after this. Things are going to be slightly different after this. And the importance of your time of isolation is so that you are prepared, so that you don't operate in fear. Please don't operate in fear, but you do operate in wisdom. The fifth and final thing, remember, allow uh, it allows you time to take inventory. Take inventory, what's in your hand? What is in your hand? Remember when I talked about familiarity, I said so many people have made their job their source. So many people have made what they were doing their source. Do you know how many people have connected with me two, three years ago talking about what they wanted to do? And had they went on, moved out of the space of familiarity and began implementing those things at that time, they wouldn't have to scramble right now, right? They wouldn't have to scramble right now. Okay, um, Alice, awesome. You can actually, um, Alice says I need to talk to you. You can inbox me, dear, and um, we can set up some time to, to talk, okay? We can set up time to talk. The fifth thing that isolation does, and I remember when I was, so before I got divorced, we went through a separation. We actually went through two separations um, throughout that 14 year time frame of being married. But the, the last time that we um, went through a separation, I went into isolation voluntarily. I went into isolation. So there were many people around me saying, you're always on the computer. You're always reading. You always, you need to get out. You need to do different things familiarity because that's what's familiar that's what the majority was doing but one of the things that wisdom does is it tells you to prepare and so after the separation and the divorce part of our agreement was who was going to refinance the home only in their name and you know buy the other person out so i had that option but i knew that what I desired in front of me was not what I was looking at, right? So I chose the other option, moved to a completely different city. There's no way because what I was doing for income at that time required me to exchange my time for dollars and be at a physical location. But what I had my head down doing, what wisdom told me to do during that time, when everyone else was out doing their thing, doing familiar stuff, doing the ordinary stuff, buying the ordinary stuff. When everyone else was doing that, I had my head down because wisdom told me to strategize and to invest. And so sometimes when things are, you know, looking as if they're going left, so many people just kind of say, it is what it is and whatever happens, happens. But you can impact what happens for you because you have the power. God said he gives us the power to get wealth, right? But it's got to be activated. You got to be activating that thing. You guys hear me? Um, who's that? Sean Hova Parker. So the fifth and final thing that isolation does, and thank you so much for scribing, Ms. Uh, Ms. Rhonda. I appreciate it. Guys, are you guys getting value from the broadcast? If so, hit the like or the heart button. Let me know this is registering um, for you guys. Let me know this is working for you and shifting you into the space that you need to be in this season. The fifth and final thing, and make sure you share it out, guys, is isolation allows you to access new possibility. Isolation allows you to access new possibility. So many of you have been having downloads and visions and desires and goals and things that God, because God gives us the desires of our heart. So I believe he places those things there. But during isolation, if you take full advantage of this time, you will begin to see new possibility. So many of you have an expertise, a skill set, something 
you will be able to birth that and innovate. Innovation should be at the forefront of your mind right now. You will be an example to many people. There's something valuable during this season that you have that someone else needs. So the fifth and final thing that isolation does it is it allows you to access new possibilities. I want to invite you all, those of you who know that you have something on the inside and that thing has been sitting dormant, I wanna help you activate that. I've decided I took a shift in the shift for five days. I'm doing a five day prep my brand challenge that I wanna invite you to. It's not gonna be an ordinary prep my brand challenge. It's for those of you who are really ready to implement you have a business idea or a business that's been sitting that you want to bring online, you want to attract more people. Not only are we going to focus on um, optimizing the space that you operate in online, because I'm here to tell you that you don't need 100,000 followers to make it happen. You don't. You just need the right followers. You need to optimize what it is that you're doing. I see so many people. And I know this is a social networking channel, but so many people are not focused on what it is that they're assigned to do when they're, in, when they're on social media. I want to help you shift and get into that space of alignment. During that five days, you'll get an email from me every single day. You'll get a training that gives you a, an applicable step that you should be doing to recession-proof your business and to move forward in times like this. And then um, later on that day, you'll get a live coaching call from me. So whatever I uh, the training gave you to implement and go and do as it relates to your business and your brand, I'm going to coach you on it in a group. It'll be a group of us um, later on that day. So the live coaching as well. I've made it a no-brainer. I've made it a no-brainer as far as your investment. You can go to bit.ly slash myprep1. It's actually at the top of the link. You will get your first email and video on Saturday, which is tomorrow. I didn't waste time. I didn't waste time because I feel that that's what people do so much. They procrastinate. I'll do it later. And then when times like this comes, they're scattering. They're scurrying around. Now, I'm not saying that everybody isn't impacted in some way in this, but many of you had answers well before now that you just simply hadn't been implementing. I want to help you activate whatever it is that you know you need to be doing in this season. I want to help you prep your brand so that you can recession-proof your business and your brand during this time. I'm going to go through a, a financial snapshot session for you to help you find money that you're missing, right? To help you locate where some of the money already is, right? That you're going to need not only to sustain, but also to soar because this is going to progress. It's not going to be forever. And you get to determine where you're going to be when that's all over with. So you guys can go to the top of the page or if you caught the link when I shared it, it's B-I-T dot L-Y slash my prep one B-I-T dot L-Y slash my prep one. You can go and sign up. We start tomorrow. Use this time to work on your business. So many people have worked in their business so much and the... And I'm going to use the word excuse because I believe that not doing the other thing is really just a time management skill or something that we just kind of keep putting off. But if you are in a position where you feel like you're not going to be able to work in your business, it is an opportune time to work on your business. And I want to support you in that. If you have a side hustle you've been doing that you want to get more serious about and you want to um, increase your impact and awareness on social media this five day Prep My Brand Challenge is going to be amazing for you. Um, you can go to the link, check it out. Those are my five things. I'll run back down the list that isolation allows you to do. Number one, it allows you to be with yourself. You need time to be with yourself, children. You need time to be with yourself so that you aren't, you aren't always hearing other people's mindsets, other people's mentalities, other people's fears, other people's thoughts and ideas. Time to be with yourself. Number two, it allows you to shift atmosphere 
a familiarity. Many people, some people are just going to keep doing stuff the same way before and expect new results. But it's, it's not, I'm telling you guys, it's, things are going to be different in a good way. In a good way, but they are going to be different. And the good way is if we've prepared. You guys get that? If we prepare. Thank you for tagging people, Sharonda. I appreciate it. Number three, the number three thing isolation does is allows you time to hear from God. I gave you guys an example of a young lady who shared she had been going to church all these years and she didn't understand scripture or the word because she had been hearing other people's thoughts, other people's ideas, other people's mindsets, other people's fears. But when you have time to really spend time in the word, not just quote the scripture, but live it out, it'll look different. I'm telling you, your life going to look different. You're going to handle your life different. You're going to handle adversity different. You're going to handle trials different. And you won't handle them in fear. You will handle them with the wisdom of God. You will handle them with the wisdom of God. Preparing and doing things necessary is not fear-based, God, guys. It's called wisdom. It's called wisdom. And some believers will teeter-totter during this time because they feel, well, if I prepare, I'm not operating in faith. Oh, you, no. If you don't prepare, you'd be like the wise versions. Go look the story up. Go look the story up. You'll be like the people that Joseph was serving because while they were doing familiar stuff, Joseph was doing two things. He was investing and he was strategizing. He was investing and he was strategizing. Go read those two stories about Joseph and the famine and then the wise virgins, the wise virgins and their oil. Right. Number three thing, the number four thing it allows you to do is it allows you to take inventory. Many of you are taking inventory now. And some of the things that you're seeing, you're like, man, I should have been did this. I should have been did that. Right. Now's the time. Don't take this time of isolation for granted. Um, now, I know different people are in different seasons of their life, but. You know, I don't think, I think regardless of where you are financially, I think growth is our responsibility. Nakia, good morning. I think growth is our responsibility, especially as believers, so that we are more prepared to handle things, so that we are, you know, who the world comes to during these, this time, whether it's for our intellectual property, whether we're giving resources, whatever it is that we're doing, I believe that growth is, should be an intentional thing so that we can continue to be in a position to be who the world comes to. Because they're not coming to us if we don't have anything to offer. If our situation looking just like theirs. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Y'all tap the screen. If our situation is looking just like theirs. So growth should be something that's intentional. Um, I talked about number three being allowing time for you to hear from God. Your gifts are going to stand out for you in the season. Your gifts are going to this season. So many people were familiar with their job and familiar with how they were doing things, but it is going to be your gift in this season of isolation that is going to rise to the forefront if you're intentional about cultivating it, right? And uh, number five, because four was taking inventory. What's in your hand? What's in your hand? God wants to do a new thing. We're in a shift. Number five, it allows you to access new possibility. Listen, don't focus on the problem. Be prepared. Social distancing, sanitation, follow the laws of the land. If, you, if you've been going to church, but you didn't read that part, that's scripture too. That's scripture too, right? But what's in your hand, right? What is in your hand? What is in your hand? What do you have? Number five, um, access new possibility. There's some new things that God wants to do in this particular season for those who have an ear to hear. Preparation is not fear, guys. It's wisdom. Preparation is not fear. It's wisdom. That's my take on today. Five things that isolation allow you to do if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking to prep your brand to be prepared. Um, I'm going to give some um, recession-proof insight. So I owned a brick and mortar service-based business back in 2008 during that time. And this just came to me like a few days ago. Like this isn't something I just been sitting on. It just came to me about how I made it through the recession. I hired more people during that time. 
Our revenue and sales were higher than all the years before during that time. And I did a complete build out in my business and I was spending time with God, but I was investing and strategizing during that time. I wasn't waiting on things to happen. I wasn't operating in fear. I was operating in faith and wisdom during that time. I'm going to share some recession proof insight that you can, things that you can do in your business to help you sustain during this time, to help you maintain. Many people will uncover gifts during this five day challenge um, and the strategy to at least begin gaining the momentum for it, right? So I, I can't like build your whole business out in five days unless maybe you were working with me privately, but I will give you sound principles so that you can sustain, so that you can soar, so that you can make what you're building your lifestyle and not your life safer. You guys have a super, super amazing day. I appreciate you guys coming on. If you find value, tap the screen for hearts. No, it worked for you. And be sure to share with someone else, especially an entrepreneur um, that you know who owns a business, who may be, you know, just worried about the isolation. Take advantage of this opportune time. It is a time for creativity and innovation. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Have a super amazing, amazing day. You can always catch me on my business page. If you haven't liked the business page, facebook.com slash build with Tanya. Go over there. That's where I'm at most of the time, giving out business um, information. I upload videos all the time. I do a live uh, periodically, sporadically now, and um, you can connect with me now. Alice, I remember you said you wanted to connect. For those of you who do want to connect, if you go to that business page and go to my message box, it will automatically give you an opportunity for a complimentary um, clarity call with me for, for your business score. For those of you who want a life strategy session, it will give you access to that. If you go to my message box on that page, facebook.com slash buildwithtanya, it will allow you to get um, some complimentary time with me. Have an amazing day, guys. Look, eat your kale. This is the season to eat your kale. Have a good one. Peace.